Well, as you can hear, guys, I've got the new alternator installed in this Honda Odyssey, this 3012 Honda Odyssey. Yes, this is a future uh, Honda. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I got dogged for that one. But there's the ripple. No, I'm going to tell you right now, we put a Napper brand in here. Um, I left the bolts nice and loose because I... That's about how much faith I have in Napa alternators. I don't make the call, guys. I wanted a Honda alternator. I got an Apple one. I got an Apple battery. So it is what it is. But we're unloaded right now. Charging at 14 volts. Um, you can see the setting for the uh, AC ripple is set at 2 volts, 20 milliseconds, which is the same um, setting I had as before. But you can see that the ripple is considerably different looking. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, because I did a screenshot of the other one. I can find the dang thing. Hold on. So here's the screenshot from the before in part one. You can see two volt scale filtered on a 20 millisecond screen and we were at what, 12 uh, volts, you know, under, obviously way low on our voltage, but there's the ripple. We were getting before so I just thought I'd show that to you guys so that uh, you can see a comparison not without having to jump back and forth on the video let me go back so I'm gonna bring this down so we can get a little bit more detail and what I'll do is I'll drop that down to a 500 millivolt scale so what we got to do here let's go into there, drop our voltage down to 500 millivolts. Actually, let's go to 200 millivolts. Go back. Um, filtered, AC coupled, 20 millisecond screen. Um, and we can come out, go to like a 200 millisecond. And <clears throat> there you go, guys. Let me stomp that for you. So, there is a ripple off a quote unquote new alternator from Napper in this Odyssey unloaded. So definitely looks different, obviously a lot quieter, and obviously we're getting a charged battery now. Now I will tell you guys, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a strategy um, in these, um, but the charging voltage gets really low on these when you fully load them down. There's a lot of accessories in these Odysseys, so I'm gonna load this down and I'm gonna show you. Now you gotta remember, we're not raising the RPMs, so there's that. Fully loaded, wipers on, AC is on, radio is on, um, brights are on. She's loaded to the max. I got the radio blaring in there, and you can see the ripple now. Considerably different than before. But I'm gonna show you this voltage. You can see it, it's going down. Now, I haven't got an assistant in there yet to raise the RPMs to check it, so I'm gonna do that here. But I wanted to show you that. We're still on a 200 millivolt, 200 millisecond screen. Let me go up back out to a two volt screen um, and see what it looks like. All right, so the, here's the ripple on a two volt screen, 20 milliseconds. And you can see it looks nice and clean. Um, and again, battery voltage is going down below 12.6, but we're fully loaded and I'm not raising the RPM. So, you know, not very often you're gonna be doing this um, in a car. And again, Napa brand, so I'm a little concerned, but hey, it, I didn't make that call, so. Nevertheless, um, I'm gonna have somebody get in here and raise the RPMs. All right, so I got Phil in there. He's gonna raise her up to 2,500 RPMs just to see what happens here on this alternator once you raise the RPMs with it fully loaded. And there you go. So let's try bring this down to a 500 millivolt. Come down to 200 millisecond screen. There's our ripple, raised RPMs. There's our charging voltage. Okay. All right, so we're unloaded, and you can see 13.93. And we're right back to that nice consistent ripple. And again, I'm on a 
500 millivolt screen, 200 milliseconds. So, she's fixed, guys. At least as long as that Napa brand alternator wants to last. Again, I don't have a lot of faith in their alternators, but I didn't make the call. Um, as far as that uh, AC voltage in the system goes, um, let me pull this out and go for a test drive, and I'll explain that to you guys. All right, guys, so as far as the AC voltage goes in the system um, that I was showing you in part one with the key on, engine off, um, I'm going to check that now. Now, Brian Mann, um, man with two N's, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, has his own channel, and he's a very good guy. Um, I really, you know, I've become good friends with him, you know, through YouTube and Facebook and whatnot. But anyways, check his channel out. Um, he had sent me a private message saying that it, it's very possible that, that that was my scope picking up on, you know, voltage in the shop, you know, like the fluorescence and whatnot. And I, I mean, that is very possible, Those, you know. So I'm going to check it. I've got it outside right now behind the shop. And I'm going to check it out here and see, you know. Either way, I'm not too worried. It's fixed. Um, as far as the voltage getting so low when we had it loaded in the shop um, running it, Again, you have to realize that that would be like you having every single thing on, you know, and this car has heated seats, you know, it has all kinds of bells and whistles, guys. So that would be like having every single thing on all at once, sitting at um, a complete stop, standstill. Um, you know, the alternator is able to keep it at about 12.5. I think I got it as low as 12.56 running it um, fully loaded with no RPMs. And it was, you know, able to stay at about 12.56. Is that lower than battery? What we'd like to see, yes. Um, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Again, I wanted a Honda alternator. Not my call. This goes back to my um, video I made about service writers and ma service managers. It wasn't my call. You know, maybe the customer didn't want to spend the money on the Honda alternator. I don't know. I just would feel more comfortable having an OEM alternator in it. But not my call, right? So... Let me get out there, let me show you that. Let's check together, because I have no clue if that that uh, AC Ripple is gonna be in that system of 167 millivolts, I think it was. So let's check that quick and um, go from there. All right guys, so hopefully you can see that there is still that Ripple in the system. I had to bring my, I had to pause it, put, uh, bring my scope inside because the glare is just unbelievable back here. But if you look, it is different than what it was before. Now, cursor two is in the valley and cursor one is on the peaks. Um, again, yellow trace was down to the alternator and green trace was to the battery. And you can see we're only getting about 62 uh, millivolts of AC ripple on the um, alternator post and about 51 millivolts on the battery. So that is definitely um, an improvement from 167, I think it was. Um, but I wouldn't think too much about it. Um, I am outside, so it's still there. Who knows what it's from? My scope is unplugged, so that's not a variable. Or, um, you know, not plugged into the AC charger. So not going to worry about it, guys. Just wanted to share that with you and give you some closure. Um, I'm comfortable with this. Um, I'm shipping it down the road. Uh, the only thing I'm not comfortable with is, is the Napa alternator. And, you know, it is what it is. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there, and I'm sure I'm singing to the choir. So... Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like this. I know um, it might have been overkill, but, you know, it's how you learn. And I'm new to this, just like a lot of guys are, um, as far as looking at this stuff in depth. So, pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, uh, this is not a 3012. We're not going back in time or forward in time. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> whatever. It is what it is, guys. You, we all make mistakes, um, and you got to laugh about it. So... <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Um, catch you on the next one.